HVAC, how to size and design. Ducts, basic part, 2. Airflow characteristics in duct. 1. At any point, the total pressure is equal to the sum of the static and velocity pressures. 1. The static pressure is exerted equally in all directions and the velocity pressure is exerted only in the direction of airflow. 2. This makes it difficult to directly measure velocity pressure in a duct. Simply put, because static pressure is also pushing in the direction of airflow, you can never measure just velocity pressure. Practically, velocity pressure is calculated by measuring pressure perpendicular to the airflow, static pressure, and also measuring pressure parallel to the airflow, total pressure. What happens to airflow in ducts when size changes? Energy Vanguard Ducks Airflow Sciences Corporation Airflow Characteristics Download Scientific Diagram Once you have these two values you can just subtract static pressure from the total pressure and derive the velocity pressure. Vp equals Tp, Sp. 3. Static and velocity pressure are mutually convertible. The magnitude of each is dependent on the local duct cross section which determines the flow velocity. The following pressure changes are affected in the ducts. Constant cross-sectional areas, total and static losses are equal. Diverging sections, increase in duct size velocity pressure decreases, total pressure decreases, and static pressure may increase, static regain. Converging sections, decrease in duct size velocity pressure. Increases in the direction of flow, total and static pressure decrease. 4. The total pressure generally drops along the airflow because of frictional and turbulence losses. Confusion in the use of the terms static pressure, velocity pressure and total pressure is widely prevalent among HVAC engineers and contractors. The term static pressure is typically used for fan selection. Velocity pressure is used for measuring CFM in a system, and total pressure is used to find the velocity pressure. Total pressure determines the actual mechanical energy that must be supplied to the system. 11. Calculating flow rate from pressure measurements. Duct components and materials. Supply air duct work supplies conditioned air from the air handling unit to the conditioned area. Return air duct work removes air from the conditioned building spaces and returns the air to the air handling unit, which reconditions the air. In some cases, part of the return air in this duct work is exhausted to the building exterior. Fresh air duct work supplies outdoor air to the air handling unit. Outdoor air is used for ventilating the occupied building space. Exhaust, relief, air duct work carries and discharges air to the outdoors. Exhaust air is taken from toilets, kitchen, laboratories, and other areas. Requiring ventilation. Mixed air duct work mixes air from the outdoor air and the return air then supplies this mixed air to the air handling unit. D duct components. The figure below shows a schematic and a 3D representation of supply and return air duct work. The central air handling unit, AHU, is connected to the air plenum at the starting point. AHU fans draw in air through grills called returns and force air through the plenum and into the conditioned space through supply registers. Schematic Drawing 1 Schematic Drawing 1 
The duct components are as follows. Plenum or main trunk. The plenum is the main part of the supply and return duct system that goes directly from the air handler to the trunk duct. Trunk duct. A duct that is split into more than one duct is called a trunk, just like a tree. Ducts that are on the end of a trunk and terminate in a register are called branches. Takeoff. Branch ducts are fastened to the main trunk by a takeoff fitting. The takeoff encourages the air moving the duct to enter the takeoff to the branch duct. What is plenum in HVAC and why it is so important? Pick HVAC. Air terminals devices. Air terminals are the supply air outlets and return or exhaust air inlets. For supply, diffusers are most common, but grills and registers are also used widely. A diffuser is an outlet device discharging supply air in a direction radially to the axis of entry. A register is a grill equipped with a volume control damper. A grill is without a damper. Variable air volume, Wikipedia. Air terminal devices Wozahir, Global HVAC Specialists. Air terminal devices Wozahir, Global HVAC Specialists. Air terminal devices Wozahir, Global HVAC Specialists. Air handling units explained, diagrams, types of AHU. High demand for air requires optimum air discharge Trox Group US. Air terminal device HVAC product, duct materials. Ducting is generally formed by folding sheet metal into the desired shape. Traditionally, air conditioning ductwork is made of galvanized steel, next in popularity is aluminum. Other metals used under special circumstances are copper and stainless steel. Metals that are used extensively depend on the application of the duct and are listed below. Galvanized steel, it is a standard, most common material used in fabricating ductwork for most comfort air conditioning systems. The specifications for galvanized steel sheet are ASTM A653, coating G90. Aluminum, it is widely used in clean room applications. These are also preferred systems for moisture-laden air, special exhaust systems and ornamental duct systems. The specifications for aluminum sheet are ASTM B209, alloy 1100, 3000, and 3 or 5052. Stainless steel, it is used in duct systems for kitchen exhaust, moisture, laden air, and fume exhaust. The specifications for stainless steel sheet are ASTM A167, class 302 or 304, condition A, analed, finish number 4 for exposed ducts and finish no 2B for concealed duct. Roof-mounted rectangular galvanized iron duct, 400 rupees slash square meter flux aircon private limited ID, 2052-170-0173. GI duct. Carbon steel, black iron it is widely used in applications involving flues, stacks, hoods, other high temperature and special coating requirements for industrial use. Copper. It is mainly used for certain chemical exhaust and ornamental duct work. Pressure in the air conditioning ducts is small, so materials with a great deal of strength are not needed. The thickness of the material depends on the dimensions of the duct, the length of the individual sections, and the cross-sectional area of the duct. Carbon steel ducting, in a ketipoli, PO, HCF, via, hoser, Crystal Engineering Systems ID, 2112-149-7212 Corbin Steel Duct Non-metallic ducts This category includes ducts made from plastic or foam boards, shaped by cutting and folded to produce the required cross-sectional geometry. Boards are faced usually with an aluminum coating, both internal and external. Fiberglass reinforced plastic, FRP it is used mainly for chemical exhaust, scrubbers, and underground duct systems. Advantages are resistance to corrosion, 
self-insulation, excellent sound attenuation and high-quality sealing. Limiting characteristics include cost, weight, range of chemical and physical properties, and code acceptance. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC it is used for exhaust systems for chemical fumes and underground duct systems. Advantages include resistance to corrosion, lightweight, and ease of modification. Limiting characteristics include cost, fabrication, code acceptance, thermal shock, and weight. Fabric, fabric ducting, also known as textile ducts, is usually made of special permeable polyester material and is normally used where even air distribution is essential. Due to the nature or the air distribution, textile ducts are not usually concealed within false ceilings. Condensation is not a concern with fabric ducts and therefore these can be used where air is to be supplied below the dew point without insulation. Flex duct. Flex ducts consist of a duct inner liner supported on the inside by a helix wire coil and covered by blanket insulation with a flexible vapor barrier jacket on the outside. Flex ducts are often used for runouts, as well as with metal collars used to connect the flexible ducts to supply plenums, trunks, and branches constructed from sheet metal or ductboard. Flex ducts provide convenience of installation as these can be easily adapted to avoid clashes but has certain disadvantages. These have more friction loss inside them than metal ducting. Flex duct runs should be as short as possible, 5 to 6 feet maximum, and should be stretched as tight as possible. Several kinds of common wind patterns and applicable places of cloth air duct, Dirk Ezox, Wuhan, Air Dispersion System Co., LTD. Fabric duct. FRP ducting bend, fiber reinforced plastic ducts, fiber reinforced plastic ducts, all wind fiber end products, Chennai ID, 1137-523-1573. FRP duct. What is PVC duct? Explained. PVC duct. Thanks for watching. Continue part 2.